The government stands accused of breaking pre-election promises on key rail upgrades in the north. Growing costs and delays were blamed on the decision to put on hold the electrification of the Trans-Pennine route and Midland mainline. But some argue the extent of the problems should have been made clear before the election. The electrification of the Trans-Pennine line is underway. Speed it up with new tunnels and infrastructure. The pre-election promises included faster trains on electrified lines, paid for by record investment. But the dream of speeding up rail journey times between many big northern cities has ground to a halt, much to the frustration of travellers. Obviously, it's very much needed by everybody. I mean, I commute on this line every day to come and go to work, so... Baffling, really. Which is strange, and staying in diesel for another 20 years, that's not good. I think it should be electrified. Well, I think it's time that they brought a lot of things up north instead of leaving it all down south. We pay the same taxes and everything, don't we? I think we should get the same treatment. Don't you? Midland Main Line from Sheffield to London and Trans Pennine from Leeds to Manchester are two of Network Rail's electrification upgrade projects that have, in the words of the government, been paused. Well, when you press pause, it means that you don't do things, doesn't it? And what the, the danger is that a government using the word pause means shelved. It means not just postponed, but cancelled, put on the back burner, left, maybe it never returns and that would be very bad news for Sheffield city region and Sheffield itself. Ministers say they can't afford to write blank cheques for projects that are increasingly delayed and costing more. But some will argue that unless the government sticks to the promises it made before the election, it runs the risk of letting the northern powerhouse run out of steam. Craig Whitaker, this is a broken promise on a huge scale, isn't it? Well, no, it's been an absolute cock-up with, uh, with Network Rail. I mean, what they can't do is deliver the, 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 the project that's, uh, that they promised they would deliver. And a cock-up for the government, too. Labour argue that ministers and the rail regulator knew about the extent of the delays before the election. So your party fought an election campaign writing cheques you knew you couldn't cash, didn't you? Well, that's not true, because £38 billion worth of investment is still on the table. It's still there. This is, this is a setback. Of course it is. But actually, the Northern Powerhouse, for example, isn't just about the electrification of one railway line. There's lots of other things. The Northern, uh, Northern Hub, for example, the widening of the M62. We've got a high-speed three coming up here we've seen even, even in my own patch we've seen money and investment in the Tobman curve which is now open running and bringing real added value to places like Tobman so no I don't accept that at all yes it's frustrating yes it's uh, um, uh, uh, you know pause for the minute but I have every confidence that this will be delivered albeit at a later date Greg Mulholland do you believe this is all network rails fault well in the end we have a system and the Secretary of State for Transport is accountable and we have the same Secretary of State who has failed the north of England, let's be quite clear on that. I don't know what the extent of the problems were before and certainly they were withheld from me and from MPs and that's absolutely disgraceful. This is a serious blow. The Conservative government have less than five years now uh, and we have no sense that these projects, these hugely important projects, may come back within that time and I think that says all we need to know, that they are not. Um, and we were told clearly over the last five years that we would have the, the kind of investment. And have we seen any of this in Leeds? No, we haven't. We haven't seen the Leeds Southern Rail um, railway station entrance starting. Been, no, we haven't on, seen. Let's, let's be a little no, bit we, fair. We, we, We've got a bit of motorway, but what about well, rail? Well, we get, we're getting no further. You know, we've heard about nothing about the, Norman, about the Leeds what about the Northern Hub? York what about, line. What about that, that? Presumably being pushed even further down the line. We're getting nowhere <coughs> with getting the the one mile of track to Leeds Bradford Airport. And now even Transpennine. No, no, the hang great on. That, but that's devolved money. That is devolved money. That's not. Oh, yes, it is. It that is part of all. the devolution. The, the, it, no, it, it, it is it, not the government that has decided great. to do that. Part that of is the problem local with the devolution transport. is we haven't got it yet. We haven't been told we're going to get it. And we've been know, told we've got, we're getting one point to... one million pound, uh, billion if, pounds, which is is for us locally through the devolution program for us locally to decide on which projects we want to spend that money on. But that, that but is that one of those projects. Not, that may or may not. But the government now prioritised the electrification of the Great Western 
line yeah. to the West Country to South Wales, so the North has missed out again. Well, that's because they can deliver on those lines, and we, and we know because we saw a, a slight pause. Why can't they deliver on our lines? Because the people that have said that they're going to deliver the aspiration to, to do all this electrification have now decided that it, it is unachievable for them. Patrick was very, very clear that they would go back and have a serious look at how else we can achieve that, and that's why it's been paused. Some Greg Mulholland are blaming the rising costs of HS2 for sucking all the money out of the, the rail network. Do you buy that argument? Well, I mean, who's seriously going to believe that we're going to get HS3 between Leeds and Manchester when we're not even now going to get this electrification? Um, I'm a big supporter of the idea of high-speed rail. The HS2 project is the wrong way to do it and is far too costly and taking far too long. There are alternatives. Um, particularly the High Speed UK project that I wish the, the government would seriously look at and for some reason they're still not doing so. But I think people have lost confidence. People in the North have today, um, or over the last week, have lost confidence in this Conservative government. Lots of money still being funnelled into the vastly expensive Crossrail project and we're hearing how wonderful that is from the Chancellor. I'd like to see him come up to, uh, to Leeds or to Sheffield or to Bradford or to York and tell people now because, frankly, we have no sense that we're going to get the investment that we were promised some years yeah. ago. Yeah, and ministers George Osborne and, of course, David Cameron now aren't going to be able to use the phrase northern powerhouse with a straight face, well, are they? No, that's ridiculous. We're talking about the electrification of one line. Two lines. Well, it, well one line for, for, for West Yorkshire, for this side of West Yorkshire. And Sheffield. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But the northern powerhouse is much bigger than the electrification of one line. It's about devolution of power. It's about some of the, the uh, huge amounts of that they're talking about bringing down. It's about the high speed three, which. Well, when will we get Leeds Harrogate to York? Because if, if that must be pushed back further, that electrification well, I, I, was I'm, in process. I'm that not, presumably is even further down I'm the line. I'm not the transport minister, so I can't, I can't answer for him directly.